In mathematics, a square number is any number that is the product of some integer and itself. If I have one post-it, that's one to the one, it's already its own square. To make the second square, I need four post-its. The third square takes nine. Four squared is 16. Five squared is 25, etc. As the value grows higher, it takes more and more post-its to move up just one square. 25 squared, 26 squared, 27 squared, this is 50 squared, which equals 2,500. It used to take just a few squares to move up, but clearly now, it takes a lot more. So you would think, if you keep going for infinity, that there would always be more little squares than big squares. But if both go to infinity, then there should be the same amount of little squares as there are big ones. Paradox. There is an infinite number of square numbers, just as there is an infinite number of numbers squared. In Galileo's last book, Two New Sciences, there is a discussion of infinite sets. What then must one conclude under these circumstances, asked Segredo. Galileo often wrote in dialogue. So far as I see, said Salviati, the character attributed to Galileo himself, we can only infer that the totality of all numbers is infinite, and that the number of squares is infinite, and that the number of their roots is infinite. Neither is the number of squares less than the totality of all the numbers, nor the latter greater than the former. And finally, the attributes equal, greater, and less are not applicable to infinite, but only to finite quantities. Not applicable.